Zach, do members of both parties do this? We've had this similar conversation a few times now with Ted Cruz, Mike Pence, now Mike Pompeo. Are Democrats doing this as well? It does happen with them as much, but not with them, but not nearly as much, it seems like right now. I mean, that's certainly something that could change, and I think it has in the past. Um, you know, Ben Democrats pulling this sort of stuff more often. Um, but we have seen that typically the Democrats I've looked into, uh, Ilan Omar, Eric Swalwell, and uh, Elizabeth Warren, I believe their deals were structured in a way that they personally didn't benefit. And the Senate actually does have different rules than the House on this one. So it's a little bit different for uh, Senator Warren. But um, uh, Representative Swalwell, for example, told me like, there was no profit to be made from his book. You know, he basically came in even on it. And even then he would not have made any any profit. And the Ethics Committee looked into Ilan Omar and did not um, sanction her for anything regarding her book. And going back to Mike Pompeo's book, without this bulk purchase, would it have performed well? We'll never know. <laughs> uh, the New York Times doesn't, you know, doesn't doesn't explain, you know, doesn't give sales, doesn't tell you how it's, you know, how this how the sausage is made. Um, they give it in very vague terms. So we don't know. Uh, you know, we do know anecdotally that at the uh, there was a Republican committee meeting not that long ago where there was a picture that went on social media of a whole bunch of Pompeo's books that were out there on a table. And a couple hours later, picture was taken again, and there were about the same amount of books left on uh, on the table. And, you know, Pompeo famously blurbed his own book here. So you know, usually when you publish a book, there's a quote from somebody saying, this is a must read. And it's, you know, not the author saying that. Uh, in the case of uh, Secretary Pompeo, it was uh, him who blurbed his own book. And he did write a book. So does this mean, do you think that he does have aspirations for higher office? And the book's always the first go, you know, if you, if you, you might as well do it, you're going to make a little money. I mean, you probably work with a ghostwriter anyways. It's probably not that much effort on your part. Hey, again, get to, you know, New York Times bestselling author um, tagged onto your name and, you know, get this out there. It's a feeler, but there's certainly plenty of examples of politicians who were rumored to be running for president, published books, and then never ran or, you know, dipped their toe in and got right out immediately. Why is it almost a rite of passage, though, to write a book, publish it as kind of a feeler, as dipping your toe in? Um, yeah, it's an excellent question. I mean, I think part of it's the money. You know, they stand to make a lot more money when they're in the private sector than if they were to be elected president. So you might as well get that now. Um, it gets your name out there. It's publicity. It gives you something to talk about. It gives shows a reason to book you. Uh, you know, you don't just have to. And this, this goes back to the days where you could get a you know, a politician could land a spot on, on MSNBC or Fox without having to give a nasty viral tweet or something like that. But the book gives you something to talk about. And then they tour. You saw that with Pence, where he was in New York, making all the rounds at the TV shows and having book signings. And it gives you a product to, uh, to stand behind. I mean, heck, it's the same with journalists. You know, if you have a book, you can get on there and you're, you're talking about your book. And it allows you to bring up your other reporting, but it always gives you something back that you can reference. Like, oh, yes, he is the author of such and such. And what are the ethical lines here? Because you mentioned the publishers might think, eh, this might not be the best book, but let's publish it anyway because they have donor funds. And on the flip side, the author, and for in this case, former politician, is using donor funds to pump up those sales. Correct. Um, whether it's ethical or not, that's, that's, that's up to an ethicist. I mean, I, I, you know, I would say probably not. Um, but on the other hand, you know, if you're a publishing company, you're in the business of making money and somebody who's able to buy that amount of books right off the bat is going to be more enticing than someone who's not. And, you know, there's nothing illegal with using donors monies to buy your book. Um, so, you know, that's, that's, that's the way it is right now.